Welcome EDC enthusiasts, I'm Dean here. Welcome to the channel, Genetic Modified Viking. We're going to do an unboxing today, or really kind of a re-unboxing. Uh, yesterday I attempted to do this, yesterday evening, and I apparently didn't have the record button on. So uh, you'll have to just kind of play along with me a little bit here. It's for, uh, the knife is the Kungu Pulsar. So here it is. There's the packaging. For the unboxing, we're going to use the Chavez 229 Street There we go. There it is, the Kun Wu. Um, nice packaging. I like that. I like the colors. It's the magnetic box, which is really kind of nice. And I obviously I've already opened this and uh, I've already taken a look a little bit on the inside. This is really nice. Uh, this is a really nice touch. This is like a uh, oh, it's it's kind of like microfiber but it might be like a fleece, a fleece microfiber bag, which is really, really nice. They did a great job here. Regular stuff, the card on the inside. Now, this is kind of unique here. They actually have replacement springs with a tool and then strong springs. So apparently the, uh, the weaker spring is on the inside there. And then we've got the... Uh, microfiber cloth and there's the knife. Let's pull this sucker out and take a look. Okay. There she is. The Kungu Pulsar. I have to say it's a little bit less uh, of a, I thought it was going to be more of a polished uh, finish. These are titanium scales with a, like a diamond pattern. I like those type of knives with the diamond patterns. I've got some other ones here that we'll be able to bring over just for comparison. Diamond pattern is one of those things where you either like it or you don't like it. Uh, I happen to like it. I like that monochrome feel. Um, yeah, so anyway, there it is. Not much billboarding. It says Pulsar here on the blade. Elmac steel. On the other side, nothing there. Uh, it's got the K, the uh, laser engraved uh, K there on the pocket clip. Not a big fan of that pocket clip. It is uh, reversible. You can bring it over on this side. So that's a, that's a good thing for the lefties. So yeah, let's take a look. There she is. Nice blade. Flat grind. It, uh, I like the belly of that. That should work out pretty good utility wise. It's got the backspacer here for the uh, lanyard. But yeah, it's a nice looking knife. It's not a big knife. I'm gonna read the specs off real quick here. It's 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 a it's the perfect EDC size. It is uh, seven point five nine inches overall all length. It is uh, three point three inch blade. The blade thickness is three point one millimeters. Uh, L Max sixty to sixty two HRC. Blade finish, satin. Titanium diamond texture, as you can see. It's a good looking knife. It's a very good looking knife. I tell you what though, for me, uh, these type of knives, you, you got, because I got extra large hands and these are right on the edge because if you are trying to pinch this to bring the lock bar down, the axis lock, and your hand is there you run the risk of nipping it which that's exactly what i did yesterday pinched it in the hand and it bit me so these are uh, i like i like the uh the feel of these but the uh you gotta watch it if your hands if it's not if it doesn't fit your hand appropriately uh it will bite you on the clothes so yeah now this does have a little bit of stickiness here but I think uh, I think that will wear in over time it's a little bit on the gritty side there's no play play whatsoever the centering is pretty much spot on yeah it's a good looking knife so there's other diamond plate knives out there for some of the textured type 
that uh, I'm just going to bring over. Uh, every, I'm sure everybody has seen the reviews on this, so it's it's not that new of a knife, although they've got their continued. This one just released like a month and a half, two months ago. But I'm just going to bring over some other diamond plate knives just for comparison. This one is the Tucson TS-177 Maverick. This is M390 steel. This is uh, kind of a sought-after night knife. This is a night morning design. I like the looks of it. I love diamond plate and diamond uh, texturing. I think it's fantastic. I, it just it just works. You either love it or you don't. This one is uh, numbered uh, 330, and they uh, they kind of do a limited uh, releases on these. This one's numbered 330, so you have that as a comparison. Another Tucson is the Tucson TS 328. That's this one here. Um, it's kind of a big guy. I'm going to put them right in the middle there for you. There you go. But you can kind of see the different types of texturing on there. This is a, a, a really nice texturing. This one here is a little more gritty. The edges of the diamond plate are kind of edgy. Uh, this one's a little more smooth, but they're both fantastic. This one here, and I'll do a review on this at some point, but the detent is really weak, and that might be simply because it needs to be adjusted. This is a, uh, a liner lock. Whereas, and if you if you just light switch it, it's fine. But if you if you just hesitate at all, you can't fail it. Um, whereas the Maverick is a frame lock, so this is uh, it's got much stronger detent. So that's those. Another one that I like to compare with that I, I'm a big fan of is come on, get up. It is the 8020. I'll just put that one up there as well. You can kind of see the difference in the uh, the texturing. Uh, this one here is not necessarily diamond plate texturing, but it is texturing. That is the QSP Penguin. That's the titanium scales. I believe that one was an exclusive uh, through uh, traditional pocket knives. I don't know if they have any more of those or not. And then, uh, being as we're talking about traditional pocket knives, Listen to that walk and talk. That's going to be the Ohio River Jack. So there's kind of like a comparison with the different types of texturing. Um, your favorite? I don't know what it would be. Uh, if I'm going to look at these right now and pick uh, the texturing I like best, an 8020, don't get me wrong, is a fantastic knife and it's, it's one of my favorites. However, I have to say, that TS-328 is spot on. It's got the larger texturing. It's smooth on the edges of the diamond uh, shapes uh, that's milled into the titanium. Fantastic. All of them. Fantastic looking knives. So, there you go. A little comparison there on the textured titanium scales. But that is the Kunwu Pulsar. And that's kind of it this morning. Uh, just getting up, having my coffee, and decided to do a, a quick review. Let me know what you think about that. If you've uh, if you have this knife, I haven't even had a chance to use it, so I have no idea on the performance. I believe uh, Kevin at Duty's Daggers uh, did a performance on this, and it it uh, performed fairly well. So uh, leave a comment, like and subscribe. Uh, until the next unboxing and review, this is Diener signing out.